Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very special episode of Game Complain. That's right, Modern Warfare 2 based. Uh, um, it is entitled Modern Warfare 2 Sucks, because it does, but in this episode, we're going to do it in a very neat structure. First, we will be talking about too much hype, then we'll move on to Infinity Ward, perks and kill streaks, glitches and hacks, and then I r- will respond to some comments. Uh, when I say respond to comments, I don't mean directly, just a lot, a lot of ones that I've got that are basically the same. Although, SkaterGuy1199, I will respond to your comment. Actually, I'm going to do that now, because people might not watch this video for the full length, and I want people to understand how much of a cockweed you are. This is his comment. I'll do my best to try and read it. This was on my Tactical Nukas bullshit video. Uh, this stupid un-American bastard, spelt wrong, is so pathetic. Shut up. Who are you to complain about a fucking Tactical Nuke? Stop your nerd rage. You probably... Spelt wrong. Get murdered by the nuke all the time. It's not hard to get, and it's not easy. So, it's not hard to get, and it's not easy. Okay. Um, this fucking, spelt wrong, scrub rants all day about video games. Get a fucking, spelt wrong, life. All I did was laugh at this pathetic wanker the, <laughs> the whole time. I would rape you at this game. People like you shouldn't, spelt wrong, even own an Xbob X360. So fuck off, you stupid foreign piece of shit. Yep, that's his comment. Anyway, we'll, we'll move on now. This video is going to probably go for quite a while uh, because I can talk about this subject all day, which is why Infinity Ward, if you don't agree with what I say, you can, of course, pay me a couple of million and I will shut up. Uh, you have five seconds to comply. Anyway, um, yeah, so I can talk about this forever, and uh, which I could, and people at E3 should totally hire me to go in there and destroy this game, but, you know, they probably won't, so... In preparation, I have a glass of uh, urine-like Mountain Dew. Uh, so we will get started with too much hype. Now, a lot of hype can, can kill a game and, and make it seem a lot worse than it is. Uh, very evident with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. I was excited as fuck for that game, and I know a lot of other people were, and when it came out, it was it was a great game, but it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't as good as everyone thought it would be, and this was definitely the, definitely the case for this game, seeing as though... Uh, oh, shit. Seeing as, as though it sold over a billion dollars worth of copies. Um... And no matter what you say, there's always going to be people that hate it, there's always going to be people that like it, and there's always going to be people in a backwards swamp in Louisiana fucking their sister. But the problem is that overhype can definitely destroy a game, and I think for a lot of people, it destroyed this game. I don't like this game because of the wrong things with it, but I know that a lot of people don't like it just because, this is not as good as people said it was, you know, fuck it, I don't need a scientific explanation, and you shouldn't have to need an explanation to hate things, but as the comments that I've got, you need to write at least 400 pages worth, or a Bible length, of why you don't like things. So the Kieran Scripture will be out soon, for those of you waiting to pre-order it on eBay. I don't know if you can pre-order on eBay, but overhype can definitely destroy a game. I mean, you look at the overhype, the millions and millions of views on their videos, um, millions of pre-orders, millions of... Uh, one million copies of the Prestige Edition, which I got, um, you know, and all these other things. There was hype. The Infinity Ward forums were on fire, and it was very unexpected. Like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare... Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, it was an awesome game, it sold great, there were heaps of people on it all the time, but from that I did not expect, I don't think anyone else expected such a huge thing, like Call of Duty 4, when it came out, really wasn't that big, it got it got a lot bigger later on, but not to the point of the next game will sell $1 billion worth, that was for me totally unexpected, I never thought it would reach that, but overhyping things can definitely, definitely kill it. And I think that's a problem that Infinity Ward did, or the community did, in the uh, pre-launch to this game. Um, so yeah, but now we get into the nitty-gritty of bitching about Infinity Ward. Now, I've never really liked Infinity Ward that much. Um, fair enough, they make great games. Well, a great game, and a great series, I suppose you could call it. But um, when you try and get away from that series, that, I mean, look at... Look at all the fanboys. Oh, Treyarch didn't create the series. Why are they in the series? Yada, yada, yada. Well, why the hell, up until the last minute, it was just going to be called Modern Warfare 2? There was no Call of Duty until Activision made and put Call of Duty on there. Um, so I don't see the relevance in that comment at all, because they clearly want to get away from the Call of Duty, as they have now, or a few of them have. 
because they've been fired, sued, and, um, you know, but Infinity Ward is a company, I think they're, they're a small company, they've only got a hundred, if not less, uh, developers or workers, uh, their forum manager and their, um, people, oh, fuck, what's his name, Robert Bowling, is an absolute piece of shit, and I don't care if he's watching this, because he is, he is a useless tool who lies through his teeth and is just garbage at his job. He's got about 40 posts on the Infinity Ward forums. There's, I mean, I don't want to bring local search up too much, but I will in this video, and I know I will. Um, but there's a, like a 180-page thread about local search demanding he get in there and respond. And he actually finally logs into the forum, and what thread? What thread? What thread do you think he responds to? Claymore thread, and it's got about two pages. I, oh my god, I couldn't believe it. Um, he's a he's a lying dickhead, um, and I hope to God he gets what's coming to him. Um, but I can definitely see him leaving Infinity Ward and going off to uh, Respawn Entertainment if if that's illegal. But as a whole, I think the company is just run by dickheads. Uh, they don't, they don't care at all about the overall community. Um, and, and a lot of people say, well, that's Activision. Well, well, not really. Look at the PC. They stiffed them without um, dedicated servers. They stiffed all the international players without a local search. Um, they're slow and useless when it comes to patches. I mean, there's a few glitch. There's a lot of glitch. Well, there wasn't really a lot of glitches, but the glitches that they were totally broke the game. Um, like the javelin glitch, the care package glitch. Um, oh shit, I can't remember the other ones. I know there were a lot more, and then you can contrast that to a game like World at War. Now, World at War had a lot of glitches, a lot of glitches, but there really wasn't ones that completely broke the game. Um, like a, get a lot of getting under the map. So, say, if you were on Castle, you could get under the map. Well, you could just skip Castle if it came up, because a lot of people knew what other people were going to do. But on Modern Warfare 2, you can't skip it so people can't use care packages, and you can't skip it so people can't use javelins, and they were so rampantly slow to update it, and it was a broken game from launch, and it's very obvious. But in terms of a company, they're slow, slothful. I mean, Treyarch did a good job. Fair enough, they didn't update the beta, but why do you need to update the beta? You know, that's, I hate when people bring that up. Um... Actually, we'll add another category. Infinity Ward vs. Treyarch. We'll slap that on at the end. Uh, but, honestly, if it's, it's, they as a company couldn't care. I mean, they didn't care in Call of Duty 4 either. There's, there's glitches there that have been there since day one. And I know, you know, fair enough, two years on and they've got Modern Warfare 2 out, but they didn't always have Modern Warfare 2 out, and these glitches have been there, you know, since the dawn of time. So as a company, I think Infinity Ward are just completely arrogant, ignorant, and what goes around comes around, and I th I don't want to say what they, they deserve what they got, but for making a shitty game, you, that shouldn't happen, but for breaking the law and breaking contracts, it should happen, so I'm not happy that they got fired, I'm not happy that they got sued or anything like that, but, you know, what goes around comes around, and if you stiff people, you get stiffed back, and that's probably like a that's probably like a line from a porno or something, but I thought, you know, what the hell. So this is my first drink break. Here we go. No, I don't really drink like that. What is the third category we're going to talk about? Perks and killstreaks. All right, perks and killstreaks. In the next video, I will see you there.